friends, I'm Maya from Fit Green Mind and welcome back in my kitchen. Today we'll be making vegan enchiladas, super easy, super quick, so let's go. I will start by making the fried beans just from scratch, this is super easy to make. Therefore I'm gonna use kidney beans, you could also use black beans or something like that. And I'm just gonna put them in this pot. Also I will add a splash of water, about one to two tablespoons. And to season it, I'm going to use ground cumin, some oregano, and of course, salt and pepper. Then grab a spoon, stir it all around until it's well combined, and then set it on medium heat and let it simmer until everything else is done. Let's get to the veggies. I'm going to use, of course, onion and garlic as usual as kind of like the base of everything. Also, I'm going to add one chili for the spice. You could also use a half, half a chili if you don't like a spicy food that much. But yeah, I'm a spicy kind of girl. <laughs> and I'm going to add one bell pepper. Also, I found some spinach in um, our fridge, but this is totally optional. And last but not least, I'm also going to add some corn. But before that, I'm going to chop up everything. Oh, and I forgot something. The mushrooms. Um, I'm going to use them as kind of like a meat, re meat replacement um, because they get a really nice texture when you fry them long enough. But let's chop up everything. And here a little tip about the chili. The very, very hot part of this chili, um, it's the skin and the seeds inside. So you want to remove that because otherwise uh, it's really, really hot. But if you're used to hot food, you can of course keep them inside. Once you've chopped the chili, you want to wash your fingers because otherwise, um, in case you touch your eyes, it's not comfortable for your eyes, <laughs> trust me. And if you want to be a little bit more time efficient, you could, instead of chopping up everything by hand, you could use a food processor or a blender to just split it up in in little chunks that's made within like two minutes and this takes some time but I enjoy the process. All right everything is chopped up finally and by the way I'm using champignons <laughs> I googled how to pronounce it um, but you can use any kind of mushrooms um, such as oyster mushrooms or whatever but let's move over to our stove top get out a frying pan and heat up some olive oil or any kind of oil in there it's probably about one to two tablespoons you could also leave that out but I think it adds a little bit more flavor or brings the flavor out a little bit more and then I'm going to add onion, garlic and chili and fry them for um, 5 to 7 minutes. And at this point I add already a pinch of salt because I want the, the onions to release all their water so the salt helps that process. Once the onions are soft and translucent you can add the remaining veggies. Let's go. My small handful of spinach is also going in there. I know it looks like a lot of volume right now, but the mushrooms and the spinach will shrink like in the size of my hand or something like that. So don't worry. Now I add the seasoning, ground cumin, some paprika, dried oregano, a little bit of pepper, but we won't need that much because the chili is already in there and a little bit more salt. Give it a good stir and put the lid on and then we'll um, let it cook on medium heat until the mushrooms and the spinach has shrinked. Whilst the veggies are cooking over there, we'll prepare our enchilada sauce, which is um, yeah, made pretty quick. The base of it is of course tomato sauce and you can just add it to a bowl or something like that. Then I'm also adding some water. And to season it, I'm going to use again ground cumin, paprika, salt and pepper, as usual for this dish. And I forgot to mention that I'm also going to add some garlic powder. You could also use fresh garlic, but this is better for, <laughs> but this is better for the sauce. Once you've added everything to your bowl, just whisk it until well combined. 
The veggies are looking really, really good. All the water has cooked off. The mushrooms get a nice texture now. And to finish it, I add a little bit of corn because I love corn. I'm just gonna combine it here. You can actually turn off the heat. And then the filling for our enchiladas is done. If you could smell this, it smells so, so good. And the last thing we'll finish um, before filling our enchiladas, I'm forgetting the name all the time, <laughs> is our beans or our fried beans. Therefore, I'm going to take an old fashioned potato masher and we will mash them up now. It might, um, you might have to add one or two tablespoons more water, but I will try just doing it like that. Alright, once you've mashed up your beans, it should be kind of like a thick paste. It doesn't look that appetizing, I know. But everything is done now. That means we can fill our enchiladas. Alright, I've got here now my vegetables, the fried beans and the sauce. And now we get to the part um, yeah, where we fill our tortillas. I'm using a mix of corn and wheat tortillas, but you can use any tortillas of your choice. And at first, I'm going to take about one tablespoon of the refried beans and spread it as kind of like the base of everything. The second thing we add um, are the vegetables. Just make sure that you don't overfill your tortillas. Um, that happens to me very, very often that I can't wrap it um, properly after filling it. And then we can just roll it up. And once you've rolled it up, place it in a casserole. And now I will repeat that with all our tortillas. All my tortillas are filled now, so the enchilada sauce is going on top. Make sure that all your enchiladas are well coated with the sauce because otherwise they will burn on some places. So make sure that everything is coated. And then I will add some cheese on top, but that's optional, but highly recommended. It looks really, really good now and it will go in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted and yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for these, so time to serve up. It's time for a taste test, so just I'm just gonna get a fork full of this. It's not that hot anymore. <laughs> I'm struggling. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really, really good. You wanna try? Okay. <laughs> My shy Cameron doesn't wanna try, but yeah, I love it. It's I just love Mexican food, so this is a win for me. Anyways, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, try this dish at home. It's super easy to make and perfectly perfect for the upcoming spring, which is right around the corner. And if you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm dropping a new video every Sunday. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, whatever. I wish you a great day and bye. Better be worth my time Better be committed cause baby I'm